Calm down, have we? No, I've stored all my anger for this. Mom? Oh, I can't. Hero cop rescues boy. Boy says, I am boy. Says, oh boy. Why is my one wall there not painted? Like, yeah, I get we were we were testing out different colors, but why did we not finish painting that? What what do we plan to have there that we were just like, yep, this is going to be my unpainted wall. My unpainted wall next to my six black and white photos of a building. A shadow. Some hills. And possibly a firefighter? Okay, yeah, that's an assortment. Also... Why- why is my- why is my carpet raised? What- why is my apartment so... badly managed? Well, are you gonna be civil? No, I'm honor. I really need to get that key back from you. Over my dead body. That can be arranged. Don't tempt me. Well, what was so urgent that you had to come down to the club and talk to me? You know exactly what it is. You're doing all this detective stuff again. I'm good at it. You know that Scout and I worked out who killed Dick Stanford. I didn't say you wouldn't be good at it. If anything, that's what I'm worried about. Look, you've said your piece, Mom. You're scared. I get it. I didn't take pleasure in causing you stress, despite what you might think. This smile that I'm wearing right now, totally unrelated. But I... I can't hold myself back because of you. I'm good at this. I enjoy it. Even Detective Cross has come around. But what if you die? Worth it. Honestly, that's that's the real goal, anyways. <sighs> Big ol' sigh. What's the point in being so scared of dying that you don't ever live? Oh, how very poetic. That doesn't change anything. Was there anything else, or was that it? Don't you think this is over, Honor? I can't let you make the same mistakes your father did, and his father made, and his father before- Wait, no, that's the wrong story. God knows he had his faults, but- I think the answer to my question was no, there's nothing else. Here. Want- Want a flag? Oh, what are you carrying that around for? Okay, thanks, Mom. Here, look at look at my picture. Hmm? What are you showing me that for? Mom, don't you remember? This is the photo I gave you? Uh, from, we won from when we won our Starshine Award last year? I remember. But why do you have- wait, it was last year we won this award? How are we best new show with at least four seasons if that was a year ago? What? I don't know how the time works here. The real question, Mom, is why don't you have it? Uh, 
I gave you this photo for a reason. Because I thought it might make finally make you proud to see me successful. I should have realized I was trying to get blood out of a stone. Maybe you'll get blood out of her and then she'll respect you. Oh, Anna. Stop being so dramatic. Just because I don't agree with most of your decisions doesn't mean I'm not proud of you. I always have been. You. You are? Yay! We got pro, pro familiar pro fam familiar pride. Yay! Wait, I definitely want to talk more about this, but I need to know how this photo ended up where it did. This one? Yeah, I think I gave it to Ryan. Dun dun dun! I knew it. I knew Ryan had connections within all this. He's gonna kill me if I join his company. Gonna be like, yes, you'll go to the other department. A new department I just made. The Department of Missing Peoples. Or the Department of Death, your choice. I'm gonna be like, no, Ryan, you suck. He's gonna be like, yes, I am Ryan and I suck. You what? Oh, don't start all that again. It was during the divorce. I I met him, hoping you two could sort everything out. Yeah, I showed him the photo to remind him how happy you could be. I wanted him to try. He asked if he could have it, and... Well, I thought if it might help, why not? It didn't help, in fact. He used that to set up another man's death. Well, to get to another guy to try and get me fired. Vindictive son of a gun. So if Ryan had this photo, how did it end up at Frank's? Probably because someone paid Frank to go get me fired. And that person was Ryan. Because Ryan sucks. Anor, I think I have made a connection. Ooh. I also made that. Not to kill. Remember, the original intent was never to kill. <laughs> he hired Frank to seduce Blake. But Frank was very incompetent at it. No. He hired Frank to, bl to blackmail him. Straight up blackmail him. Ryan hired Frank to blackmail Blake. Blakemail, as you know. What makes you think that, Scout? Remember when we hacked into the police fingerprints files? They showed that Frank worked for a private security firm called Leaf Security. Like the river. So you're saying the connection is that it's it's a river like what Ryan should immediately be dunked in. Blake had been circled in the photo. Given your mother's testimony, it does not see make sense why she would have done so before handing it to Ryan. This is our mom. She hired Frank. Therefore, we can assume that Ryan wanted to target Blake for something and went to Leith in order to do so. Doing his own dirty work was never something Ryan was interested in. But why? Why would he hire someone to blackmail Blake? Good question. Here is my theory. Dude, well, I mean, we pretty clearly knew we were the target of the firing. In fact, we had a whole angst about it. Because he wanted to get you fired. 
Remember the Polaroids we found in Blake's office? They prove that someone tried to get you fired. That. That bastard. You said that Ryan was very controlling. This could have been his attempt to continue controlling you, even after your divorce. I think it's time to set a little trap for my ex-husband. Hey Ryan, I thought about your offer and I think I'm gonna send you to jail now. <laughs> well, there's just one thing I want to check with you before I accept. Could you come by the club again at 2 p.m.? Great. See you then. Now to call Detective Cross. Like, as we're by the dead guy. Yes, the perfect place to, um... Prove my ex-husband um, guilty of black blackmailing Blake. Right in front of a corpse. Detective, it's honor. Can you get back to Magellan's? What? She's not? Bum, bum, bum. Okay. We'll start looking for more evidence until you get back. Honor, why will not you wait for me? Sorry, Scout. By the way, I spoke to Detective Cross. Looks like Roz has an alibi. So it was not her? Nope. Though we need to get looking again. <gasps> Crispin, who are you? Sorry. Sorry, didn't see you there. Oh, uh, I don't think they're gonna be open today, to be honest. Huh? Oh no, I, I'm helping out with the investigation. Is that so? <laughs> well, uh, don't let me stand in your way. I'm part shark. I don't know, this guy looks part shark. Being part shark with all those... Pointy teeth always makes me suspicious. Sorry, mister... I didn't give you my name. You're right. You didn't. What should I call you then? KG? Is that how you start all conversations? With an insult? You haven't even told me your name. You're right. My apologies. I'm Honor Mazira. I'm kind of a... Well, I guess I'm a private detective-ish. It's not official, but... And I am a scout. Well, Honor Mazira. My name is Crispin Hakewell. Thank you. And what do you do, Mr. Hakewell? Yeah, I'm in finance. Oh, he's in finance. And he looks like a shark? Hmm. Suspicious. Isn't right. What brings you to the area today? Yeah, I was in the neighborhood seeing a client. Not a regular here then? Hmm. And uh, no offense to the clientele, but uh, this isn't exactly my sort of place. I uh, see, I prefer uh, places that have uh, salt water, uh, sand, uh, but, but plenty of small fish. Some some might call it like a sea, you know, like the ocean. Yeah, the ocean. That's my sort of place. Well, you figured you'd stop here anyway? Yeah, I'm just taking in the scene. 
It's not every day you see a shop front destroyed by a giant shoe, is it? I never see that in the ocean. Hmm. Sharks don't get to see giant shoe floats much. This is a murder scene, Mr. Hakewell. Really? What a surprise. The body over there definitely didn't give it away. Narky. Sharky. Red to think what this will do to uh, do to business. It'll definitely cause a dent. Hmm. Yeah, he's definitely a shark. Oh, maybe he's a loan shark. He said he works in finance, but he's got those shark teeth. Hmm. Is there a reason you're waiting outside? Uh, I was hoping I might bump into Fran. Uh, but I guess she's not around. We're probably hiding in her office. Drowning her sorrows. Why does everyone just casually drink to excess here? So, you know Fran then? I thought you weren't a regular. No, he's a loan shark. Do you not see his teeth on her? Hmm. I d d don't know what you're talking uh, talking about. Okay, Miss Mazari. I've entertained this little charade this far. But the novelty is wearing off. G go bother someone else. Goodbye, shark man. I'll see you when I get in major debt. Hmm, Crispin. Ooh, a new room. And hello, Fran? Doesn't seem like she's about. So shall I scan for clues then? With the opportunity right there in front of us, it'd be foolish not to, right? Hmm, investigation. Time for some pick cross. Ooh. Hmm. That as well. Ooh, so what do we get? Unlocked letters? Oh. Makes me feel like old school Russia. You're, uh... A fan of that one musical where they write letters in Russia. I get the feeling Fran doesn't have much of a filing system. It reminds me of your handbag, Anor. Since when did you get so sassy? Maybe you've been hanging around KC too much. There are many utility bills. Water. Electricity. All seem to be settled up to date. Well, I guess there must be some method to this organizational madness. Like a finance agent. Oh, look at these. It's a bunch of rejections from loan companies. A friend was... Trying to get a loan? Hmm. Maybe this was all for the sake of insurance. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, wow, look at all those. This is wonderful. And there we go. 
got it. Ooh, a PC. One of those personnel computers. Anor, there is a computer here. Computer, huh? Is it hacking time? Should I try to hack into the computer? Oh gosh, not the hacking minigame. Well, it doesn't look like Fran's around. And the law hasn't applied to us since forever. So why not? This is highly illegal every time we do this. Um. 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 Goodness. So, gotta just hope. Oof, this up. This mini game always makes me so nervous. Right. Hacking complete. Hacker voice. I'm in. It appears that this computer is mostly used for bookkeeping. Anything interesting? It is safe to assume that negative numbers are bad, yes? I don't know much about accounting either. But yeah, that seems like a good general rule. In which this in which case, it appears that the club is not doing well financially. For four out of the past five months, the club has made a loss. Dot JPEG. No wonder she was trying to get a loan. No one should be making a loss. Dot JPEG. But all the utility bills have been, had been paid. So where did the money come from? Maybe we should ask the shark man who is outside, acting sort of shark-like, and talking about working in finance. Knew it, he's a lone shark. He just looks too much like a shark. Find anything interesting while you're illegally searching my room? <sighs> Fran. <laughs> Judas. Uh, we were ju we were- we were just... looking for a wall outlet. I need to recharge. He's lying. We've taught the bot how to lie. It's too far. You know, I would have thought that private investigators would be better liars. <laughs> hmm. I, uh... Let me explain. Yes, this is highly illegal. Uh... Casey told us you weren't feeling very well, so we came to see how you are. How very sweet of you. <laughs> I'm fine. I was just feeling a little overwhelmed by everything. Then I went to the bathroom, and well, I guess that's when you took your chance to have a little snoop around, huh? Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> yes. This was highly illegal, and I should definitely be in jail for the amount of crimes I've committed while d investigating. Your office is unique. Well, it has to double as a dressing room, too. But still, I guess that's no excuse for the desk being so messy as it is. If you would like, I could show you some great sorting algorithms. Would you like to look at Quick Sort? It has a partitioning section that will absolutely devastate any computer science majors 
or I can show you Babel Sort. But if you try Babel Sort, it will take you 1.2 3 10 million years to complete anything. Please never use Babel Sort. Or I could show you Merge Sort, and you will have to divide and concord in your algorithm. I think that might be a losing f battle, Scout. No one should ever become a computer science major. Even if I tidied it, it'd be like this again in a few days. I'm just not all that good at all this admin stuff. Yes, that's the side effect of not going to business school. You do not need to be a business major to know how to use a sorting algorithm. This was brought to you by someone who still has to go to the business school because of their other major. If you don't mind me asking, why did you buy the club? I had been a regular performer here for years. The old old, old owner Daphne wanted to, wanted to sell it so she could retire to Palm Springs. And you know, with her mystery crew, uh, said that there was a lot of, lot of, lot of crimes involving amusement parks in Florida. Or Palm Springs adjacent, anyway. I never really imagined myself running my own business, but some of the other girls encouraged me to go for it. I thought, well, how hard could it be? It cleared on my savings account, and here we are, I'm super in debt. <laughs> Guess I was quite naive, huh? Water. Wow. Wish I had that much in savings. I mean, neither does Fran now. <laughs> you didn't need a loan or anything? I don't see what that has to do with- No, no I didn't. That was totally not me covering. Oh yeah. Then what do these letters about a loan have to do with you? We found these letters on the desk. There are a bunch of rejections from loan companies. And there's no worse rejection from than from them from one from a loan company. You'd think they would have lower standards, but they're quite picky about who they accept in their in their love life. I guess for their loans too. And well Exactly. That's why they're rejection letters. Oh wait, uh, there was more line, wasn't there? I was not looking when more stuff was said. But then, how are you paying your bills? You said you didn't have any savings. <laughs> That's not true. I've been extremely careful with money, okay? I'm definitely not in debt to a man outside who looks like a shark. Man outside is probably wondering about where the closest ocean is. Hmm. He's definitely a shark. I watch every cent, no frivolous purchases or anything. Oh, uh, we couldn't help but notice that you might be having some money issues. We definitely didn't break into your computer. That would be illegal. <laughs> Highly illegal. Ah. Yes, things haven't exactly been easy. But we're getting by. Just means I've had to be careful with money. I tightened my belt a little, you know. Well, of course that. But you've been losing money each month. And you said you had no float money. I don't have to explain my finances to you. You aren't my accountant. You're right, I'm just the person who broke into your financial record. You can't hide the truth from me, Fran. I know you're in debt to the shark man outside. But something doesn't add up here. And we are not talking about your accounts. Well, we kind of are. Well, oh, wow. Oh, they said it for me. Well, we kind of are. 
But I admire your commitment to the joke, Scout. Fran, I don't think you're telling us the truth. Uh, that much has been clear for a while. Please, go ahead. Expose me as being in debt to a shark man outside. Shark man's like, hmm, shark man. Gotta get those finances. You gotta get my loan. You must have some other source of money. We know you've kept up to date with your bills, but the club's lost money every month. Financial help. And by your own testimony, you have no savings left after purchasing the club. And yet again, I've said that I've been careful with money since taking over. Yeah, but that's not how the finances work. No, that's not it. Hmm. Let's see. I, I don't know how to... I guess I'm gonna say you did get a loan, but like... What? Well, is it going to interpret you did get a loan as, like, you got a shady loan? Or... Is it going to interpret that as, you got accepted, but I didn't see it? I'm gonna have to say this. You did get a loan. I know you can't believe that. You saw the rejection letters while you were snooping around my desk, which is highly illegal, and I don't know why I'm so okay with it. We did. And what bank would want to give a loan to a failing business? So, the question remains, who did give you a loan? And on what terms? You must feed the sharks every two weeks. Shark's like a nice mixture of chum. Please, no, shark loan man, I don't have that much chum. No, that's the that's the portion of our deal. Also, you must take me to the beach. I need to I need to see the salt water. Mm, must become one with the salt. You know what? I've had enough of this. I'm sorry, but it's been a very long day and I'm I'm still processing everything. Is there to have the two of you looking in every corner of my business, finding my failings, and then bringing me up to them, up on them. It's too much. Please, I'd like to ask you to leave. Both of you. Oh no, we're getting kicked out. Please, just go. Oh no. Sure. I'm sorry, we will say you. <laughs> You reminded me of the sharks. Oh gosh. You know how long they like to stay at the beach? It's it's far too long. I've been sunburned so often. Did you find Fran? We did. But I think we upset her. Oh? What have you done now? We just had some questions about her finances. I think we should probably uh, g give her some space. I've pissed her off a few times over the years. Don't worry, she'll come around in time. Detective Cross, you are back. <laughs> yeah. Figured I should give Roz a lift back, seeing as she so kindly helped with the investigation. This is great, but Ryan's going to be here any minute, and I need to confront him about definitely hiring a black a Blake mailer. Ryan, just what are you planning? I stay here, but listen in. I think you're about to hear something interesting. Yeah, I mean, if we get this right. Beep, 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 beep.